Hi guys, welcome to my channel Tasty Food for All. Today we are going to learn this delicious prawns biryani. So let's get started. I took 500 grams of tiger prawns. After cleaning it became around 390 grams. You can, for cleaning and deweaning you can click my other video and get to know how to do it. Now let's add all the spices to it. 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and 1 teaspoon of chilli powder. My chilli powder is super hot so that's why I used only 1 teaspoon and 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder and 1 and half teaspoon dhania powder and 1 and half teaspoon uh, uh, biryani masala. I used uh, Everest biryani masala and salt to taste juice of small lemon 3 4 cup of uh, yogurt and coriander coriander goes well with the prawns i took two cloves and two cardamoms and two small sticks of cinnamon so be careful while adding these uh, spices because prawns are already heat for body if you add more spices that is even more heat for your body so be careful Mix well together so that all the spices can nicely coat with the prawns. Guys, I forgot to mention the fresh cream. It is totally optional but it gives a nice rich flavor. I took 2 tablespoons of fresh cream. Now keep it in the refrigerator at least for 2 hours. Here, take the 1 is to 1 ratio. Like if you take 500 grams of uh, prawns then take the same amount of rice. So here goes the salt and the bay leaves and one star anise, two cinnamon sticks, two cardamoms and two clouds. Soak it for about one and a half hour. I transferred water from rice into this container. We can cook the rice in the same container. I added shajira and mint leaves. Now we are going to bring it for boiling. Add extra water so that you can take out rice nicely from water. Check whether the salt is sufficient or not. And the water should be little salty. After rice is done everything will be set. Especially it happens with the basmati rice not with other rices. So it requires more salt. I am going to add salt now. Now it's time to add rice into this. Now we will cook this rice until 70% is done. I will show you later. While the rice is cooking let's temper the prawns. For that take heavy bottom utensil and heat it up and then add oil. Once the oil is hot you can add ginger garlic paste and saute it. Layer the potatoes at the bottom to prevent burning the prawns. Now you can add prawn marination on top of the potatoes. Let's add some fried onions. Now it's time to add rice. And the rice is cooked 70%. You can see clearly. And the layer the rice along with some ghee and some mint leaves. Continue this process until you finish the entire rice. Here goes the ghee and the mint leaves. And finally rice. Add some color. Keep the lid on and cook it on medium high flame. After 10 to 15 minutes take out from the flame. And keep the dosa pan underneath the rice utensil and then cook it on low flame until it is done. To know whether the rice is cooked or not we need to insert the spatula into the rice. When the spatula comes out clean then it is done. You can see clearly it did not burn at the bottom. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. Like it, share it and subscribe. Thank you.